happened to wish Louis. Yeah, yes. a very happy birthday to Prince Louis. I think really, in many ways, everybody's favourite royal child. He's just a little bit of a monster, isn't he? Prince Louis is turning six today. Um, very happy birthday to you. And how appropriate, as it is St George's Day, a national day as well. But he's well. called Louis. Well, I know, his brother had already stolen the name. <laughs> anyway, uh, though royal fans will be disappointed as William and Kate haven't released a celebratory photo of their youngest child yet, uh, we're going we're gonna to find out how disappointing that is to our royal reporter, Miss Kinsey Schofield. Good morning. Were, were you expecting this, Kinsey, or what, what do you think? Well, first of all, I have to tell you that over the weekend, I went on a whale watching trip where I met two GB News mega fans and they said that they loved having an alternative in the UK, that it was such a breath of fresh air. Stop. And they said, how is Eamon in real life? And I said, more gorgeous than you Are could you? ever imagine. I said, what a beautiful man. <laughs> were they English or were they American? Or mad. They were English, yes. Yeah. And they said, oh, we can't wait to get home and to see you on the TV. I said, at GB, GB News, it's the answer. So congratulations wow. on your nomination again this year. Thank you. Well, you are part of that team, so um, you did, did are you, very did much... Did you see any whales? Oh, I saw, you would not believe how many whales I saw. When I'm not whales watching, I'm whales watching. There you and go. Yes, I saw so many fin whales. I was thrilled. But yeah, uh, Okay, back to the whales is... Yes, I do think that people might be a little disappointed, but at the same time, Isabel, I'm sure you'll agree with me here. I don't think it's unfair if the Prince and Princess of Wales decide to set new boundaries after what they experienced at the beginning of 2024. I think that they were disappointed in the online speculation about what was going on and how some of those conspiracy theories translated mm -hmm. on to mainstream media. And I think that that was frustrating yeah. for them. And they just might might be setting some new rules that we're going to have to abide by. Yeah, so what would normally happen for every birthday of the Wales' children, they would publish a picture, be sent out under embargo the day before, which means everybody had it ready to go in the morning bulletins. And yesterday, we didn't get anything. We're being told we won't get a picture, um, which, you know, as you say, are we being almost punished for all these conspiracy theories and the treatment uh, of the Princess of Wales? Um, and is that just fair enough, as you say? I mean, that's what I... I don't... I, we did hear from sources um, last month that they did intend to release a photo of Louis. That obviously hasn't happened. But I think one of the reasons that maybe they didn't do it is because Catherine is usually the photographer. Yeah. And, you know, she was criticized so heavily over the photoshopped photo. And it just might not be a priority that, you know, this t this time around. What we do know is typically the Princess of Wales stays up all night the night before to bake the cake. She jokes that she makes way more cake than the family can even consume. But that's a tradition that she really enjoys. And she loves the look on their faces when they wake up the next morning. And there's that, you know, there, there's, the sugar rush is waiting, ready to go. And like you said, Louis, everyone's favorite royal. Of course, you're going to roll out the red carpet for this guy because he is just fun on wheels. He's just the best. I just adore him. He's just so sweet. Um, yeah, I've got soft spot for little for little Louis.